And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Now get out of there. Whatever, stupid idiots. That's, that, that's for my team. Yeah, fuck, unbelievable. I mean, you can't be pissed off at us for like... Oh, I'm not pissed off because you vote me on a personality contest. When our sous chef is calling you the cancer of our team, like that's she a She didn't problem. call me the cancer of my yes, team. Yes, she did. If four out of the seven people on your team are telling you take it down a notch, it's probably for a reason. If you guys cannot handle me joking around, don't listen to me and stay in your focusness. These girls, they're constantly arguing after they lose every dinner service, and like now I have to try to get them to all work together. You guys didn't come here to fucking argue every day. You guys came here to cook your hearts out. That's why everybody's here. Tomorrow, there's gonna be a challenge and a dinner service, yep. and you guys gotta stay positive. Agreed. guys that's all good morning let's go guys how's everybody doing this morning energized good sleep yes, yes, sir. yes. good as chefs you know food has a magical power you think of a certain dish and it takes you back to a certain time of year or a certain time in your life when I say turkey we all think of Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. There are many holidays that are so identified with food that the food is the centerpiece of the celebration. <laughs> Think of the most American holiday of them all, the 4th of July. Hamburgers, hot dogs, mac and cheese. I love it. America. And there's the other holiday that I've come to love, Cinco de Mayo. I think of tasty, vibrant Mexican dishes like delicious enchiladas, chalupas, and tacos. All of a sudden, I see the mariachi band come out and the dancers, and ah, uh, I'll take un cerveza, por favor. If you've ever been to New Orleans in February, you very quickly fall in love with Mardi, Mardi Gras. Girl. There's jambalaya, crawfish, etouffee. Oh, hello. Those women were hot. I need a moment to myself. Screw the competition. I'm going with these ladies. <laughs> Bye. Now, for today's challenge, each team will be responsible for creating one stunning 4th of July platter, one stunning Cinco de Mayo platter, and one Mardi Gras platter. Each holiday platter should be made up of three delicious dishes. You have 45 minutes, and your time starts now. Good luck. Come on, boys. 4th of July. I'll take it with Joe. OK, Danny, Amanda, Come I can on. do Mexican really well. If we need three main dishes, you know what I mean? We'll collaborate on the burgers. You're going to get a jambalaya going first? Yeah. Yo, babe, pickled okra for the pole boy. Oh, there you go. Girls, real fast, check all your ovens, make sure everything's on. I feel like I am ready to lead the red team. You know, I'm obviously the strongest person on this team right now. How about we do the taco with chorizo and we'll do the sope with the pulled chicken? chicken. Uh, Hassan, chill out. This is how you are on day one coming into this team. You need to check yourself, like seriously. 35 minutes remaining. All right, come on ladies, kick it up in the high gear, please. You guys want to beat these guys for once? Just because we lost Hassan doesn't mean shit. We're strong with him, we're strong without him, yeah? Al, what are you working on? The chicken and rice. All right. Jared's a little much sometimes with his micromanaging. How's your rice? Hey, worry about your dish, man. Stop trying to taste test my stuff. Who's got butter? Fourth of July. 
classic American, it's simple. And it's, you know, to elevate that isn't gonna be difficult. We need to work on the toppings for the hot dog. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm like blanking right now. But unfortunately, I'm partnered with Jackie. You wanna just do an apple? Maybe, maybe it'll tie everything together. No, Jackie. Whatever, it's fine. It's not fine. Keep pushing. Push, push, push. Yeah, I'm solid on this jambalaya, all right? I gotta keep an eye on everything Kevin's doing throughout the whole challenge while doing the other two dishes. I'm happy to have a partner, but I probably could have just done the three dishes. We gotta go now. Last 10 minutes. I gotta work on that muffaletta. I don't know how to do that. Okay, well, we need like an olive tapenade and just like mad deli meat, but it's super New Orleans. I wanted to go right for Mardi Gras. That's just kind of my scene. I love the vibrancy and the energy. How are we feeling, guys? Nothing awesome. Last five minutes. As time winds down. We need to whip up another dish fast. Some chefs find themselves scrambling to make the third dish for their platter. I got a steak on the grill here for us. It's going to sear to a mid rare I got it. What are we going to do? You want me to make a, just a quick cheeseburger? Don't make it a quick cheeseburger. Make it a good cheeseburger. Two minutes to go. Jackie, are you, are you confident? Not really. I had to whip up a burger, put it on, and for the short amount of time I had, I was extremely happy with it. Ten. Where's those tacos? Bring them to me right now. Eight, right here, right here. Seven. Come on, guys. Six. Plate this. Five, get it up, get it up, get it up. Four. Real hot. Three. Excuse me, guys. Two. One, and stop. Now, let me tell you about our very special guest judge. She is the editor-in-chief of Family Circle magazine. Please give a warm welcome to Linda Fears. Welcome, Linda. Great to see you. Welcome, my darling. Thank you. Look gorgeous. You. Nice to see you. Great to welcome. be here. The best overall platter from today's winning team will be featured in an upcoming issue. I think this is amazing. 18 million people read this magazine. Like, this is really big. Let's start off with 4th of July, red team. Let's go, please. Kristen and Jackie, thank you. Chef Ramsay and guest judge Linda Fears will award a point to each dish they deem worthy, giving each holiday platter a potential score of three points. Wow. I'm like, is that a fucking hot dog with apples on it? The hot dog's a beer poached sausage with a pickled red onion and apple. The apple isn't really working for no. me. Ugh. Not worthy of a one. No. Next, please. In the center, there's a cheeseburger with apple slaw. You got apple twice. Yeah, a little bit of theme. Right, let me cut the burger for you. Mm -hmm. Look, it's cool. a little under there. Damn, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm not going to let you eat that. I'm so okay. sorry. Can you imagine a raw burger in a magazine, ladies? Sorry, chef. Dude, like, why would you give him a raw burger? What's wrong with you? Oof. Wow. Next up, ladies. We have grilled corn with a little bit of a garlic uh, jalapeno aioli. That's nice, that's a nice kick. Mm -hmm. Pretty. It is pretty. Are you fucking kidding me? Finally, we have some yes. flavor. Were they the point? Yes. It's just corn, but you're lucky because it's delicious corn. Take it back, please. One out of three. <laughs> you grilled some fucking corn. Blue team, 4th of July, let's go. Good boys. After the red team's shaky start, it's up to Joe and Frank to show Chef Ramsay what a real American platter is all about. Up first, Frank's smoked bacon burger. It's delicious. A burger like that is proud to be American. Worthy of the point. Absolutely. 100%, good job. That's the Marine weight, set for five, baby. Next up is Joe's jalapeno bacon mac and cheese. Fantastic. You have elevated a classic American dish. Big yes again, two for two. Thank uh, you. Amazing. Their final dish, Frank's Grilled New York Strip. Doesn't feel quite as celebratory as no. the other two to me. Uh, worthy of the point? No, I don't no. think so. What a shame. Cinco de Mayo, let's go please. Next up for the red team, Hassan, Manda, and Danny. Chef, what I prepared for you on your right is a, uh, my take on a sope. I have a puff pastry baked in the oven with a little bit of refried beans. Mm. Mm. It's nice, it's good, but we want to watch out for the spice. It's all my favorite things. Is it worthy of a point? I think so. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you, Chef. One to the red. 
Hassan, welcome to the red team. Red looks good on you. After a strong start from Hassan, Manda's chorizo tacos. It's a little too mushy inside. Disappoint. Sorry, no point. While Danny's New York strip with grilled cactus. I don't think I've ever had grilled cactus. I like it. Delivers. Were they a point? I think so. Brilliant. Well done. Great Thank start. You, Two for three. Thank you. Blue team, Cinco de Mayo, let's go, please. Let's go, bring home the bacon, let's do this. While Eddie's chicken tacos. Uh, really good flavor, worthy yes. of a point? Yes. And Jared's mole chili rellenos impress. It really tastes good, I'd give it a one. Yeah, definitely. Now it's Alan's chance to shine with his. Our roast con pollo, in the rice is garlic, onions, peppers. I'm not too sure the authenticity of the Cinco de Mayo. I don't get that true Mexican. No, mm. I don't either. Uh, were they a point, Linda? No. No. Alan folds under pressure. He hasn't succeeded in a competition. Very disappointing. Four to three. Red team, let's go. Bring me your Mardi Gras platter, please. Excited for this. Mm. Ariel, she has never done the Mufalena, neither have I. So I'm getting a little nervous about that, but we'll see what happens. Mm. Very nice. I have had authentic mufaladas and, and spot on. It's very good. Um, is that worthy of the point? Yes. Wow, great start. Nice job. Thank Ladies, you so much. nice job. While Ariel's muffaletta got the party started, Ashley's po' boy sandwich. It's not held together in any no. real way. I, I sort of feel like it's fried fish over some salad. Is disappointing. Um, worthy of the point? No. No. Wow. Yeah. It's up to Ariel and Ashley's shrimp and polenta to put the red team in the lead. It's good, it's nicely spiced. It says Bourbon Street, it says Mardi Gras, it but it does. It, it's cooked beautifully. Yeah, very good. Weather the point? Yes. Wow, well, ladies. Nice. Thank you. Let's go, routine. It's down to your last platter, Mardi Gras. Come on, Chad. We gotta have at least one point on this platter. So at least tie, I'm feeling confident. That is fancy. That is very fancy. Chad's first dish, a sauteed langoustine. Mmm, oh, mine's dry. Mine's dry. Misses the mark. Were they the point? No. No point! <gasps> His second dish, Cajun chicken. Damn. Oh, pink inside. Chicken is pink. Disappoints as well. If it's not cooked, don't serve it. It comes down to Kevin's jambalaya. It's all up to me. I have to get this. The rice is undercooked. <laughs> is that worthy of the point? Unfortunately not. No. Red team. <laughs> Congratulations. Finally, we won. Good job, ladies. I'm so happy right now that I won this challenge. I think I might be the red team's lucky charm. We are honored to be involved in that magazine. The best overall platter from the red team, which one would you like to choose? Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Buddha. Thank you, whoever. Thank you, Mardi Gras gods. We won this shit. Congratulations, Ashley and Ariel. You're now featured in an upcoming issue of Family Circle magazine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You've been amazing. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you in New York. Thanks. And congratulations to the magazine. Good job, girls. Red team, shortly you'll be departing to the magnificent Santa Inez Valley in beautiful wine country. You're going to get the most extraordinary lesson in blending wine. No oh, oh, way. Yes. What are you waiting for? Come on. <laughs> Head to the door. Enjoy. <laughs> Blue team, you'll be working long, arduous hours because tomorrow night is family night in Hell's Kitchen. First of all, I want you to start off making hundreds and hundreds of hard candies, mountains of caramel chews, cake pops, cookies, you name it, I want it. Get out of it. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. It kicked to the face, you know, it hurts to lose. It sucks to lose. Even if there wasn't an award, I'd rather win than lose. Absolutely, absolutely. Any day of the week. Yes! It's amazing to get out of Hell's Kitchen. The red team hasn't had a win in I don't know how long. I'm still... Welcome to Santa Barbara Wine Country. Chef Ramsey has arranged for a really wonderful day for you. Follow yes. me. Yes, awesome. Behold the view. We 
have three wines in front of you. Oh, yes. And you get to Just bottle your own blend to taste exactly the way you like it. Okay. Awesome. awesome. I like this Merlot the best. No, I like this yeah, Caroline Sauvignon. I'm a bad Italian girl. I do not like wine. I'm more of a beer and shots type of girl. But the wine I made was its own species. It's called Jersey Juice. So I'm selling it in every friggin' bodega in Jersey. $5.99 a bottle. Jersey juice, baby! You know what I this is candy, this is pastry work, this is intricate. Do not mess up an entire batch. Yeah? Chef, yeah, chef. Joe, you looking all right? So, yeah, I'm all right. I never baked a cake in my fucking life. Be precise, be precise. But I got this. Why does the paddle not fit? This is unbelievable. None of these bowls are fitting in this thing. Kevin just used it. I have a feeling that this punishment is going to last uh, pretty much all night. Fuck. I just wanted to do a short toast. And let's yeah. welcome Hassan to welcome the red team. Welcome, Hassan. I don't know how excited you were at first, but I hope that you can embrace all of us and understand yeah. that we all just want to win. Basically, the guys are just set up ass backwards, yeah. you know? In the blue kitchen. It's, it's a proven system. Just... Let's mm. set it up in the red yeah. kitchen. I'm glad everyone's so welcoming for Haas. Mm -hmm. But for me personally, I didn't like it. I've been doing this for years, we and I know it now. sucks when somebody comes and tells you you're doing stuff wrong. Here we go. It's just like the hateration just starts all over again. I'm just like, where the fuck is all this coming from? We're all wearing the same jackets, you know? Mm -hmm. No, but I'm just giving you my honest reaction. I'm yeah. pumped. Yeah. I'm pumped. I, she has the yeah. same yeah. I, didn't like I, do. I didn't like it, I'll tell you that. Yeah. How are you guys looking on those cake pops? We only got 750 more of these. Dude, I'm not going to be able to look at chocolate the same ever again. Pops. Even after a day spent together at the winery, one chef still has sour grapes. My point didn't get across while we were having lunch today. I've been leading this team. I didn't need somebody else to come in here to fucking run this. And it was like somebody took a knife, stabbed me, turned it, and threw salt in it. It's all about being humble. I'm not humble. You guys no, should all no, be no, running no, no, it together. Me. It's not one or two people. It's everybody yeah. as a whole. No, Haas, uh, Haas, I, I but need you to. That's what being a chef is all no, no, about. No, no, no. What I need you to do is take a backseat. Danny thinks to kind of get over her ego. Like, I understand that you're the best and you know you're the best, but it doesn't matter. I know I'm the best. I help my teammates so that everybody can shine. And that's what being a chef is all about. Danny. Uh, we're on a different page, and I really would not to, like to discuss something with you. Then you're not going to fucking succeed tomorrow. One more, excuse me, excuse me. Problem. No, no, no. What you're not going to do is talk to me like that. I you're do not, not going to succeed. You're going to fail, you. and you're going to go not, home, and I'm going to go home, and no. she's going to go home, and she's going to go home. I do not They're all going to wear fucking black you. jackets. I do not accept somebody cussing they to me. They have a fucking proven system, and I'm trying I do to explain not, it no, to no, you. No, no, you're talking to me. You're like, I'm on a failing fucking team. Yeah, I'm pissed. You guys uh, have not, proven that you, you're terrible are you an as a team. Calm you've your voice down and don't cuss at me. What are you doing right because now? Because you're doing fucking terrible. Check yourself. And you're not taking constructive criticism. What are you talking about? You're I'm cussing at me? I'm trying to talk to you no, nicely. No, you're cussing at me. Check I can yourself. say whatever the fuck I want. You're not going to cuss I at me. I say whatever the fuck I want. Really? Yeah, really. After a night of dissension on the red team, the chefs are back in the kitchen prepping for tonight's dinner service. Ready for tonight? Yeah. Yes. And Hassan is determined more than ever to lead the red team to victory. Who's going home tonight? Not us. Red team. That's fucking right. My prediction for tonight, pain. I'm 100% confident that we're going to dominate the blue team. You guys want to practice communication? Yes. Somebody start off. Come on. To Risotto, to Wellington. Third chef. Let me know when you're three out for the lobster tail, okay? Heard. You got the Wellingtons going in, you good? Wellingtons are in. Wellingtons minutes. in, heard. 17 minutes. I fucking love this right now. This is fucking perfect. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? While most of the red team gets pumped up for service, over in the blue kitchen. Pears, the thing that I said should have been done five hours ago, just did them now. They're a little short on team spirit. Alan, it doesn't help. It doesn't help? It stresses people like me out when you do that. What I do? It should have been done five hours ago. We're supposed to be supporting each other. Yeah. Come on, man. A couple off comments, that's going to ruin your day? I mean, there's no crying in the kitchen. Jared, busting your balls all morning already. It's your sarcasm. OK, well, you, you, you lay it on quite thick. OK, well, that's just being sarcastic. We're supposed to be supporting each other. It just puts me down a little bit, puts me down a little bit. Nobody fucking wants that shit. How you looking over there, Raps? 
Ah, oh, fantastic. It's basically what I was trying to get at before Jared started acting like a dick. What? I didn't even hear you. Okay, good. Suck it. Come on, quick, let's go. Let's go, guys, yeah? The minute one of your team members is standing staring at you, get them doing something. Yes, yeah, chef. Yes, chef. Let's go. Mourinho. See you, chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, please, for family night. Sure we're done. It's family night in Hell's Kitchen. I love family day. And Chef Ramsay has provided a variety of fun activities for the families. Hell's Kitchen! The beef Wellington, yeah. Kids aren't demanding. No, I don't. And along with the classic menu, Chef Ramsay has added fish and chips, burgers, and chicken fingers for the young diners. He has also included a grilled cheese station run by Jackie and Ariel for the red side and Jared and Chad for the blue side. Let's go, Marina, please. Here we go. Wake up, guys. Five cups of every level. One burger, one chicken. Two carbonara, one scallops. Yes, yes chef. chef. Drop a burger right now. Let's go. It's crunch time. You know, I've had a couple of hiccups. I'm going to have to go out there and prove myself to these guys and let them know that I'm here to stay. Scallops set in a couple of minutes to go with those apps. How long carbonara, Eddie? Give me five more on carbonara, all right? Sure. Dropping scallops. Hey, hey, all right, blue team. He's dropping the scallops to take 90 seconds. You're five minutes. He's just under five minutes. Why is he dropping the scallops? All you're doing is just fucking him and fucking him and fucking them. Yes, sir. That's all you're doing. And it's our first table. We're going to get on page right now. While Kevin tries to get on pace with the rest of his team, over in the red kitchen. On order, four covers, table 32, two pizza, two risotto. Yes, chef. Hassan and the red team race to get out their first ticket. Just leave it there, spin it around on that part Hurt. of the stone, okay? Hurt. This is my lionesses over here, okay? And I'm the fucking cheetah. And I'm fucking ready to fucking lead these women into victory. Hit it with that stock, you're ready to go. You need to speed it up, right? No. I'll fix that for you, don't worry, don't worry. Pizza is coming right now. Perfect, perfect. Walking with pizza. Chef, pizza. Walking risotto, on your right. Good, beautifully cooked, let's go. Come on, ladies, let's kill these guys, okay? With Hassan clearly in the driver's seat. Keep talking, right? Excellent. That's the dialogue, that's what I want to hear all the time. The red team moves on to their next ticket. Three covers, table 50, one kid's fish and chips, two scallops. Yes, yes chef. chef! While the blue team is hoping to do the same. First burger, walking. Carbonara, scallops. Carbonara's walking, let's go. Carbonara on your left, chef. Scallops. You guys ready? Come on! Yes, chef. Scallops, chef. Yeah, they're fucking overcooked. Come here, all of you. Look at them. It's pathetic and it's embarrassing. Get it together! Kevin's a fuck up. He didn't even know what the fuck was going on. These are those right I there. I got a refire right here. Out, right out, right out, out of the way. Season from a fucking hide. Let's go. Watch. In 12 o'clock. 1 o'clock. 2 o'clock. 3 o'clock. 4 o'clock, yes? Yes, chef. Bang, that is it. You just leave them there. Yes, chef. Then you check in with your garnish. Ah, oh, what the fuck hot. are it's you hot, doing? Chef. I grabbed it with oh, my hand. I grabbed it with my hand. God. Hand. Oh, fucking hell. That's my mistake. That's my mistake. Get out. Fucking get out. Now you're making history. You're going to burn down the restaurants. Refarm scallop. Yes, chef. While Kevin and Joe have stalled the blue kitchen, the red team Walking with scallops. Continues to fire out appetizers. Scallops right here, chef. As well as grilled cheese made in the dining room by Jackie and Ariel. Hi. What's your name? Millie. Millie? Yes. Are you right. from England? How did you know? I'm a psychic. <laughs> <laughs> I love your accent. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> People from Britain just sound more proper. White cheddar, please. <laughs> she sounded smarter than me, and she was like 10. I would like a grilled cheese. <laughs> Give me your best American accent. Hi, my name is Millie Brown. I'm 10 years old, and oh I'm a Oh, my God! <laughs> you have a better American accent than I do. <laughs> While Jackie does her best to keep the diners entertained, back in the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsay finds nothing that is amusing. Where are the scallops? Right here, Chef. Right here, Chef. Hey, all of you. Fucking hell. Just touch them. Come on, just touch them. Just touch that. Touch it. Look at it, look. Ah! I've just done them with you. And they're all fucking overcooked, raw. This is not normal. All of you, come here. Get in there. Yes, chef. Move, chef. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Not tonight. Of all fucking nights, not tonight. Get over there! Get over there! What in the fuck is going on here? What is going on? You. I am fucking up, Do chef. me a big favour. Yes, chef. Yeah? Get your apron off, get packed, and fuck off out! First, get out! Get out! Yes, chef. Who's next? Get your shit together and salvage what's left. Yes, For chef. all of you, fucking wake up! Now! Kevin just went down. I don't know what the fuck happened. Go. Go. No more mistakes. We can't have a shit service. Gerard. Yes, chef. On the fish. Yes, now. chef. Let's rebound, guys. Let's rebound, guys. guys. I gotta refire scallops. I gotta refire scallops. Her refire scallops. As the blue team gets some much needed help from Jared. 90 seconds. Out in the dining room. Maybe leave some extra on the side for me. So. Hell's Kitchen Maitre D Marino has a special ticket for the red team. This is my family, chef. Your family, thank, thank you. you. V V VIP. Marino's family, daughter's birthday. Two tuna on New York Strip. Yes, chef. Right now. Let's go. I put my New York in the pan. You got that fall, right? For the tuna? You got two tunas going out though, no? Doesn't he need two tunas or no? I got it. Oscar can talk to his blue in the face. I'm just going to continue to do what I need to do. One New York on your left. Where's the tuna? Right here, chef. Walk with tuna. Right here's the one. It's two tuna. Danny. Yes, chef. Look at me. That's dying. There's the New York trip. Where's the other tuna? About to say, chef. Oh, my god. Danny, can you just listen for once? Danny, I haven't got all night. Yes, chef. Nobody's on the same page. While Danny refires her two tunas, the blue team, hot scallops, finally gets out their first ticket. Send that, please. Come on, John. Let's go. On order, three cover table one. Fire rapidly. Two fish and chips, three risotto. Yes, chef. No, chef. Bounce back. Just bounce back, guys. Risotto, how long? Three minutes, chef. Why is it so soupy? It's there to glaze it and to bind it together, not fucking swimming in it. Chef, I can fix that right now, chef. I got three in one pan, chef. You got that? Yep. I got it. You get one back too soupy, you can let it cook out, maybe add a sprinkle of cheese, but you're taking a handful of cheese and throwing it in. Go ahead, send that up. That's gonna make you look bad, not me. How long on Rizzo's? Walk in and... It's not even together. Hey, look what I've got now. There's no lava, it's all individual. We've gone from soupy to congealed. Someone's just whacked in cheese in there to bring it back together. Fucking lazy. Who did this? Chef, that was me, chef. Yeah, that's fucking lazy, lazy. Two minutes out on those Rizzo's, guys. Thanks to Alan, the blue team is gridlocked once again. Over in the red kitchen. Where's the fucking tuna with the New York strip? Where's that? I have that right here, chef. Danny's refired tuna is at the pass. Tuna's overcooked. Hey, red team. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Overcooked tuna. That's right, young lady. Awesome, Danny. Thanks for uh, having us go to the front of the fucking kitchen right now because you can't cook fish. Refire urgently. Let's go. Yes, chef. I want it in fucking five minutes. Fire right now. We can Fire have it out right in now. five minutes, no? Yes. Let's get it. Fire another one. Danny can kiss my ass. If you're going to say, you know, all high and mighty that you're the best chef here, but if you can't cook, then you're clearly not the strongest chef here. Okay, we can do this, right? While the red team starts their third attempt on the same order. Dropping tuna. The blue team. 30 seconds on those risos. Is hoping Alan's new risotto hits the mark. Walking my risottos. Has that fish and chips gone yet? Fish and chips is one minute out, chef. We still have a shot in spite of everything that has fucked up so far. Fish and chips. Walking. Right here, to your right. It's fucking raw fish. All of you, stop! Look at this fucking mess. It's just disgusting. We've had every possible fucking mistake tonight. And now it's beyond a joke. Raw fish! All of you, get the fuck out of here. Yes, yes chef. chef. Get out! And I mean now! <sighs> it was embarrassing tonight. Get out! Over in the red kitchen. Tuna, New York Strip. Coming to the pass in 15 seconds, Chef. Hassan and Danny hope the third time's the charm with their refired New York Strip and tuna. Coming out to the pass, one New York. Walking with tuna. There is no option to fail. We cannot fuck this up. If we do, another one of us is going home. Fucking steak's raw. Hey, hey, Red Team. 
Red team! Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. It is contagious. There's just mistake after mistake after mistake. Do me a big favor, all together. Fuck off! Get out! Get out! What happened? What the fuck, man? Kevin's gone. Tonight's dinner service was a complete disaster. The front of the train went off and the back just followed. It was just nip it in the butt. Joe, biggest fuck up of the night. Yeah. Joe's one. It was a lack of leadership slash accountability. It wasn't, bro. But fix that. No fucking way. I ain't going down without being dragged out of this place. And uh, Alan was the biggest problem by far. You know, I think apps had more sendbacks than garnishes did. Yeah, no. So. No? Yeah. Hell yeah. Really, dude? Yeah. No. Realize the fact that we still have to send two people up there. Yeah, I know Jared's chomping out the bit to send me up there, so just calm down, buddy. Really? Dude, you got a risotto sent back that needed more butter. They're messing with the wrong guy. Game on. Eddie, you're two. Joe and Alan. So I'm going up there based on the night, based on under season risotto? Yeah. Suck it, OK? Alan, I know you hate me, but... Yeah, fuck off. There's no need for attitude or snide comments. My vote's gonna be for Alan. So we put up. I don't think, based off of me being there for one dinner service, that anybody deserves to go home. Everyone has to make a decision. You want me to go based off of performance from one day? Yes. I picked Danny because Danny fucked up the most. Hassan knows that I'm strong. It's a slap in the face for me. Overall, I am not the weakest chef on this team. And I'm gonna be spot on. I think I'm the best chef here, period. Danny is delusional. She totally sank our team today. So, my first pick is for you, Amanda. Yeah, I'm with you. This is all bullshit. I'm fucking staying. I did awesome. I rocked that fucking station tonight. I fucking killed it. I was organized, I was ready, and I was running that fucking shit. Can we just get this over with? Go ahead. Go. Kristen, with the non-response time, with chef calling orders and stuff like that. That was once. I'm one of the best chefs here, and I know this. At the end of the day, I can see myself working in Las Vegas at BLT. So who are you stronger than here? If I had to put someone else in my place, the only person I would say would be Jackie. Did they even mention my name? You're out of your mind. You know, I did nothing wrong. I can't justify putting her up because of her growth in the past few days. I absolutely cannot do that to her. So are we at a decision? Are we still deciding? Eddie. Blue Team's first nominee and why? Chef, our first nominee tonight is Joe. From the gates, garnish was a little uh, hectic. Second nominee, Eddie, and why? Our second nominee, Chef, is Alan. Just had a rough time on apps. A few things came back. Alan and Joe step forward. Joe, why do you deserve to stay in Hell's Kitchen? Based on this service alone, I definitely deserve to be up here but I'm in no way, shape, or form done, Chef. I'm constantly learning and growing, but uh, I know where my weaknesses are, and uh, I'm going to work on them, Chef. I'm not done yet. Alan, the risotto looked like a toilet swimming with fucking floating rice. I did have issues with the risotto that I tried to rectify before I handed them to you. I know I can rebound from this. You know, this is what I do. I'm very passionate. I'm good at what I'm doing. I've had good services where I've been strong. You know, I felt like I had a voice tonight. Time is done, Alan. Give me your jacket. I'm not feeling it. I don't get it. And there is no second gear. Yes, Thank chef. you. Good night. Chef Ramsey definitely made a mistake tonight. I had a couple missteps in the kitchen, but at the end of the day, blue team, they lost a strong cook. You know, hey, enjoy that blue team, because I can see a lot of losses coming your way. Joe, 
Back in line. Yes, Chef. You dodged the bullet. All of you listen. But I'm not done yet. The only question in my mind is how many of you are going to leave tonight? Red team, have you reached a decision? Yes, yes sir. sir. Kristen, first nominee, and why, please? We didn't vote, Chef. You didn't vote? Every single person in here has to vote it, Chef. Danny, weakest two. Amanda and Kristen, Chef. Ashley, weakest two. Amanda and Jackie, Chef. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking confused. We're all over the place, Chef. Just like service. Chef, it was Amanda and Kristen. It was the majority vote. Amanda, Kristen, step forward. Amanda, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I believe I need to stay in Hell's Kitchen because I am a natural leader, I am a team player. I mean, Chef, I left my three children to come here, and for me, that's a big deal. And I miss them terribly every day, but I know I'm here to give them a better life. Kristen, why do you think you should stay? I'm a strong cook, Chef. I keep my head down and I keep cooking. I remain humble and I absorb every piece of criticism from my sous chef and yourself. So why do your team think that you're weak? Competition, Chef. Wow. My decision is... Kristen. Back in line. Chef. Amanda. Yes, Chef. Take off your jacket because you are now in the blue team. Thank you, Chef. Give me that thing. Absolutely. You have another chance with a team that I'm hoping is going to believe in you. Thank you, Chef. I am looking for a leader because I refuse to have a repeat of tonight's performance from any of you. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. chef. Get out of here. I'm just so happy to be on the blue team. I don't think I would have been able to deal with another couple days with that red team. They literally are out of their minds. They are, they're batshit crazy. The blue team has all intentions of putting this nightmarish, hellish day behind us. I'm kind of glad we got uh, Amanda on our team to level the playing field a little bit. It's absolute bullshit that I was put up for elimination tonight. It's always personal with these crazy bitches in the kitchen. I'm just hoping to like clear all these fucking people out. On a night when the dining room was filled with children, it was Alan who needed a babysitter. He and Kevin should both understand I'm not running a daycare.